Hey guys, Little here, bringing you another video. Um, here we are with a Windows 10 virtual machine. It's got Windows Pro on it currently. Hey, you know how it just comes with all the junk, like Microsoft Edge, the store, all these live tiles, all these unwanted apps and stuff. Well today I'm going to update it to the long term stable branch. It doesn't include any of that stuff which in my opinion is great. Uh, I just want to see what will happen when you upgrade a Windows 10 Pro install to a Windows Enterprise long term stable branch. Uh, the long term still branch basically means you don't get those huge updates every couple of months like how we just got the anniversary update on the side and you don't get edge like I said the downside is it's only enterprise version um, hopefully it keeps all my apps. I installed a bunch of random apps just to see what it does, just to test it out. Kind of think of putting it on my desktop. Well actually I should make that default and see if it keeps it as default or if it makes it makes Internet Explorer my default when I uh, reboot let's see Firefox please switch anyway oh man <laughs> Let's change it to VLC. Let's change the music player to amp. Let's see if it keeps all this stuff. Hit it, I accept. Alright, so the first option is grayed out. Keep personal files and apps. Can't do that. So I wonder if that means it will wipe out all the other. Your settings and apps will be deleted, but your files will be kept. Uh, okay. Let's just make a test. That doesn't sound good. Ah, checking for updates. Kinda, I have kind of have to because just make just in case this current install has some newer update than the ISO or whatever. Let's see. just in there. Let's turn all this stuff off. So much junk. I would never connect my phone to 
my computer. I don't know why people would do that. Oh boy, call history. All this stuff. Alright, I think there's enough stuff turning off. Well, I'm going to wait for this to check updates and I will come right back when it's finished. Uh, quickly, it was checking to see if I had enough space and I also forgot to say it won't include Cortana either.
Alright, looks like we have completed the upgrade. And we do not have any apps whatsoever. Alright, it looks like I will not be doing this on my computer. I definitely do not feel like reinstalling everything. And it reverted everything back. But, as you can see, there's no Cortana, there's no Microsoft Edge, all the uh, live tiles are gone. And all the useless junk is gone too. If we go to system here, you can see that we will be showing the long term support re release. Uh, it did keep our Skype icon and our test file. That's kind of funny. Yep, it's not installed. Surprise, surprise. That's kind of kind of kind of a downer. Well guys, that was a fun experiment. If you like what you saw, give me a thumbs up. If not, give me a thumbs down or comment below. And uh, yeah, this is Lily signing out. Have a nice day.